Hey, what's up YouTube? It's VLD. I have a travel case for your iPad Pro 12.9 inch by Patika. This is actually something really cool, really neat, and honestly, I'm a really big fan of this. So let's get started. Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? It's VLD, coming back with another video, like always. And I have a product for you. It's a flipbook case by Patika for your iPad Pro, 12.9 inch. They also make one for the 11 inch. Right now, it's currently summertime. I like to go out, I like to travel, I like to go camping. This is an extra layer of protection for your iPad. It's a very expensive device. Also, it has a fantastic carrying case. Inside the box, you are given a thank you card. It just has some of the basic instruction information about other products. Patika, it's a very good brand. They sell some high quality products and this one is not an exception basically this is a bra for your ipad like i said it's a bra for your ipad the instructions state you have to pull the adhesive in order to install it actual product it says you don't pull it off so there's some drama there this product is made out of carbon fiber and leather you have a little zipper you can hold your apple pencil maybe a charger too it's not the best for carrying anything. The handle, I will say, is really good. It is top notch. I do like the handle. They got this right. This is my old travel case for my iPad. I carry mouse, keyboard, chargers, power bank, everything. But the Apple Magic Keyboard is a very good device by Apple. That's my only keyboard for my 12.9 inch. I wish there was one for my Mini 6, but they don't make one. In order to actually install this onto your iPad, you have to pull the adhesive strips. You line up the corners and also with the camera. You have to pull both of them off. Off. and you have to gently you only have one time to actually get this right so you want to make sure it's perfect line up with the cameras for one side at a time personally I just try to line it up with the corners once it's about even one side doesn't hang over the top pull the adhesive strips install it and that's all you really have to do it's a easily a two-step process but one thing I do wonder about this is if I want to remove it in order to sell the keyboard how easy will it be and if there's any extra adhesiveness stuck to my keyboard but I will say this does add a a little bit of character to your iPad because it's just a plain black or white slab for a keyboard. One thing I don't like about this, magnets for the camera covering. The one side they have it down perfectly because they have magnets. I kind of wish they had a thin film just for that purpose. This is a really cool device. Personally, I believe it's a little bit over expensive for 90 bucks. It offers a little bit of protection for it. It looks really cool. It does add a lot of character to your iPad. It doesn't affect the typing experience. It does not affect your workflow. I I do like this case. I like the material. It's built really well. The only thing I do not like about this case is the covering for the camera. You expect more premium features for that. But even with this case on, it does not affect your typing experience. Your workflow works just as fine. I do like this handle. I think they spend most of their R&D in the handle. On the back of it, the suspenders, I felt as if they cheapened out. They could have put thicker material. I don't like how it just, it's a little bit wavy. It just looks unappealing. It slides around a lot. I kind of wish they would made it thicker, but it is what it is. I do carry a charger, a USB hub, a mouse, a long charger cable. I feel as if they could have made the pocket a little bit bigger. If I could replace anything with my life with other devices to make my life easier and better for a certain price point, this would be it. If they would have extended the pocket, made it bigger. If they made the whole backside of the iPad pocket instead of a little pouch, I feel as if that would have been more ideal. I mean, just looking at this, like, can you really try travel with just this by itself. I don't think you can. I consider this a major fail in Patika's book. I just feel as if they could have done so much more with this. I grant they want to make a product that's slender, thin, and just looks really sexy and appeals to a general audience. But this will not replace my carrying case. This can complement it, but I won't replace it. But essentially, like I said, this is a bra for your iPad with a handle. It's cool, it's neat, but it will thin down my carrying case. I will keep that just for the handle, but besides that this cannot actually replace my carrying case for my iPad, but it's a nice compliment to it. Cons to it, depending on the back side of it with the suspenders, if it's not all the way to the bottom, it will wiggle while your iPad is on the desk, which it can be kind of annoying. The handle kind of sticks out a little bit. It gets in the way of the typing. Even when you rest your palms on it, it gets in the way of the typing a little bit. Frankly, it's kind of annoying. I don't know if anyone actually talked about this, but you can put this underneath it, which is really good because it raises it 
a little bit more, you have more of an angled typing experience. Just because it's angled up a little bit more, you get more of a better typing experience because typing flat all day will get you your wrist. So if it's raised up even a couple degrees of an angle, you'll have a much better and more accurate typing experience. But that's just me. So I'm not a doctor or scientist. So take what I say with a grain of salt. In retrospect, this is a cool device, but for the price point, I believe it could be a hard pill to swallow. It's cool. It's neat. I do really like that handle. It's firm. You can keep your Apple Pencil on top. It's not going to go anywhere. Even if you nudge the magnets off the iPad with the pencil, it's a lot going to go anywhere because of that handle. I want to say for the price point, they put about $60 into the handle, about 20 bucks into the suspenders, and 10 bucks into whatever else. But this is how it is fully extended. You can see how it hangs off the grooves a little bit with the suspenders. I just feel as if they come in bigger. They could have done a lot more with this, but as a first generation product, I believe it's a really cool product. I mean, it adds more character, more charisma to your iPad. The cons are the zipper on the back, price point, and just the suspenders. Pros for this device would be it adds a lot more flair, it adds a lot more character, it adds a lot more charisma to your product. For this product by Patika for $90, it's a hard pill to swallow. Frankly, they have this in two flavors, white or black for the 12.9 inch, also for the 11 inch. They are both the same price point. This might appeal to you, it might not. As me, as a YouTuber, I get sent free stuff from various companies. Personally, myself, like I said before, this is a cool product, but personally, out of my own pocket, you as the consumer judge by your wallet. And myself, personally, I would not buy this just for the simple fact you could probably buy a product like this for half the price with more features. Unfortunately, I can't recommend this product for anyone. I mean, it has a cool factor to it, but that's really about it. Like always, I'm your host, VLD. Smash that bell, subscribe, and stay tuned for all your upcoming Apple tech and gear. Peace.